and we'll pick it up in Psalm chapter 40 and verse 1. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We praise you. We magnify you. We glorify you. As uh, many saints have called in this morning, God, we just want to encourage their hearts today to let them know that, listen, waiting ain't easy, but it's a part of the process. So help us to process it right. And when we're in that waiting room, God, help us to wait patiently for something good is about to happen for you. We thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Damn. Y'all might quiet this morning. Good morning, everybody. Let's give God a praise right quick. Let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you. Father, we thank you for what you're about to do. Thank you for what you're about to do. Of God when you're in the waiting room. You know, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not easy to be in the waiting room. It's not easy. Because sometimes you don't know how long you're going to be in there. And sometimes it's not easy. Because everything in our life, we want it quick. We want it quick. You know, we live in a world where nobody want to invest no time. Come on now. Amen. You know, we want everything set to finish. FedEx overnight. Can't wait for the mail. We gotta get the FedEx. We want it now. But I'm here to tell you something. You may want things right now, but God wants you to go through the process of waiting. Amen. Now, while you're waiting, I haven't even got to my first scripture yet, but while you wait, I want you to realize something. There's some few things that you need to be doing while you wait. You need to be serving God, loving God, and teaching everybody else about God. That's Amen. simple. Loving God, huh? Amen. Okay, serving God, come on now, and tell Amen. everybody else about God. That is the positioning that you need to be in the weight room. Okay, Amen. that's where you need to be. Because the Bible says here in verse 1, it says, I waited patiently, see, patiently for the Lord. You know, patience is a word a lot of us use, but not a lot of us have. Not a lot of us have. We want people to be patient with us, but we don't want to be patient with other people. Okay, mm -hmm. but I want you to know that God sometimes do a slow walk, mm -hmm. slow walk. God is slow walking. Mm -hmm. He going to see if you are who you say you are, if you're going to do what you say you're going to do. God will mm -hmm. make you slow. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something I know about God. God knows that people don't continue to do what they really don't mean. That's why sometimes things are slow. They mm -hmm. slow. The last mm -hmm. time you supposed to do something, you did Amen. God knows that. Oh, are, you, are you listening? I want you to really hear me this morning. God will slow walk you. Slow walk. Because he know what he told you to do last time. You didn't do it like he told you to go do it. Didn't show up like he said he going to show up. Didn't go to church like he said he going to church. I do this, do this, I do this, I do this, I do this. And God said, I got to slow walk you. Amen. Then God is patient. And you need to be too. Amen. But he turned to me and he heard my cry. See, let me tell you something. This ain't no ordinary day for the brother here. Amen. It's not an ordinary day. And there are times in our life where we don't have an ordinary day. Can I get a witness? 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 I keep saying, can I get a witness? I hope I get a witness. Amen. Sometimes in our life, it ain't no ordinary day. Sure. Amen. And I want to tell you, when you come to Psalms chapter 40 and verse 1, listen, brother's not having an ordinary day. Amen. All right? Amen. And he said, I patiently waited for the Lord, and he turned to me and heard my cry. That means Amen. he was praying for a minute. See, because we snap our fingers, we want instant action. You know? Amen. And he is speaking out of despair. Yes, he is. Look at verse 2. He lifted me up out of a slimy pit. I want to give you four different ways, four different ways that David received the benefits of weight. See, some benefits in weight. And David received these benefits, and I'm going to prove to you that he did. Look at the first verse here. God lifted him out of despair. What did he say? I patiently waited for the Lord. He turned and heard my cry. You understand? He heard his cry. He was in a situation of despair. 
And let me tell you something. God lifted him up out of this despair. Watch this. And why did he get happy? Because he knew God heard his cry. See, once God hear me, I'm good. Yeah. I know he's going to work it out. If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God right now. Same God back then. Somebody say amen. He can do what God do. Yes, he do. Amen. And so he looked me out of a slimy pit. It mean, you know, when it's slimy, it ain't easy to get out. It ain't easy to get out, though. I Amen. tell you what, you jump out on, oh, 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 you jump out some mud. And Amen. see how easy it is to slip back in that hole because it's slimy. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to tell you something, Saint, just as a sideliner, be careful about being around slimy people. Okay? Amen. Yeah. Amen. I said it. You got Amen. some slimy people. You need to be cautious who you run with. Amen. Watch this. Out of the mud of mire, he set my feet on a rock. Now, you got to realize something. If I'm in a slimy situation, if I'm in a muddy situation, the, the one thing I want to do, if I'm slipping and I'm falling and I'm slipping and I'm falling and I'm slipping and I'm falling, I'm trying to grab some solid ground. You understand? If you climb it, Okay, and, and listen, you climb the mountain, and the mountain is wet. You're trying to climb a tree, and the tree is wet. You're going to keep sliding down, sliding down, sliding down. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for firm footage. Amen. I said firm footage. I'm looking Amen. to put my feet on something solid. Amen. And let me tell you something. That's what God did for him. Didn't it say he set his feet on a rock? Amen. He said, now, you might have been slipping here, there, and everywhere. He said, but you called on the right one. Because he is my solid rock. On a solid rock, I stand all over ground is thinking same. Everybody say amen this morning. Amen. Watch this. God gave him a firm place to stand. Firm place to stand. Okay? Verse 3. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. Now, let me tell you something. You know when God is working. When you ain't singing the same old song you sang yesterday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That old song you were singing with her hair was picking out there and that song alone. Amen. You know, when you stop singing that old raggedy song you were singing and crying and bleeding on everybody's rug, and, you know, I'm trying to tell you, God will lift you up out of that. Amen? You start singing a new song. Amen? Our investment can't be received and let you go through some things. You got to go through some things. All right? He said, blessed is the one who trusts the Lord, who does not look through the proud. Now, let me tell you what happened. When you start thinking you can do it on your own, that's when you start looking to the proud. I'm just going to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. To those who turn aside the false God. You know, if you don't get it from God, the next thing you start trying to figure out how you can hustle and get paid. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You got something like that. They mm -hmm. don't go the way they want. They go mm -hmm. to plan B. And plan B is always a big boo-boo. Mm -hmm. That's why it's plan B. Amen. Amen. And y'all can use that if you want. Plan B is a boo-boo. It's abundant. Amen. Okay? Amen. You don't want plan B. You want to stick with plan A. Trust Amen. God with all your heart. Lean oh, out. Yeah. You don't understand Amen. it. All your ways. Knowledge him. He will direct Amen. your path. You don't need a plan B. Amen. A plan B is when you go in your own pride. Mm -hmm. Plan B is when you take the alternative. Look, you start dealing with false guys and, and people trying to, to do this and tell you something, man. Stay on the path. Stay on the path. Stay on the path. Verse 5. Many Lord my God are the wonders you have done. If he did it before, he could do it again. I just said that. Amen. Amen? Amen. Let me tell you something. Sometimes you think that's it. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but I'm telling you that this passage is in Scripture. God is sending you a reminder. A reminder. Okay? That's just a little memo for
from God today. Remember what he did before. Amen. Don't doubt God. Amen. You know, he says, are the wonders you've done, the things you've planned for us. He said, none can compare. <laughs> See, in verse 4, he talks about turning to God, he falls down. Let me tell you something, the devil always got an alternative for you. Yeah. Don't you ever think you don't. The devil always got an alternative. Mm -hmm. He wants you anyway. He'll do you a favor. He'll mm -hmm. put you in a trap. Mm -hmm. Amen. It'll take Amen. you years to get out. Amen. But it says in verse 5, none can compare with you. Who Amen. can compare with God, y'all? Nobody. All right? He said, well, where I to speak and tell of your deeds, there will be too many for me to declare. All right? Mm -hmm. In other words, they can't, I, say, I can't tell at all. You've been mm -hmm. just that good. You've done mm -hmm. just that much for me. All right? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you need to sit back and just tell yourself the honest truth. God has done so much for me. God mm -hmm. has been so good to me. Mm -hmm. Amen? And let God know, I thank you not for what I'm going to get. But how about I thank you for what you already done? If Amen. anybody listening today, Amen. thank you for Amen. what he already did. Amen. Amen. So some people in the church thank you, walk out and act like God ain't done nothing for mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't open your mouth. You can't say amen. You can't wave your hand. You can't say hallelujah. You can't do no dance. You can't smile. You got no joy. Amen. Amen. What is wrong with you? Amen. What am I saying? He's sending you a reminder this morning. Amen. Don't forget what he done for you. Amen. You better act like you already know. Amen. Verse 6. Sacrifice of offers did not desire. I don't want your sacrifice of offers. I want you to run out so God wants you. Oh, I don't want you. Yeah. Oh, God. You know what, yeah. mother? Let, let me deal with this for a minute. Yeah. See, that's like the offer. It said he didn't desire that. Yeah. You understand? Because some people do what they do, and, and, and you know, it's just a religious ritual. Amen. Yeah. Okay? This is the way they, they do things there. back in David's day. They still do that today. It involves yeah. sacrifice of animals in the tabernacle. Yeah. You understand? But you got to realize something. If your heart ain't right, all oh, that's meaningless. I don't care how much money I get to the church. Amen. I don't care how much money. You can spend the night, get your sleep, and then I get to the meeting closer to God. Are you listening to what I'm trying to say? See, the days, listen, we, 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 it's not just spirit that's going through rituals with God no more. He don't want that mess. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Because some people think taking communion, you're good. Paying tithes, you're good. Mm. But they're empty. Amen. If it's all about you being selfish, Amen. God doesn't want, listen, God don't want no empty sacrifice. Man, come on now. Amen. God didn't send money. Mm -hmm. Some people are so foolish. God mm -hmm. sent his son. Amen. He didn't send money. He Amen. sent his son. Amen. What was most important to God? His son. Amen. His baby boy. Amen. So what do you think God wants from you? He wants Amen. you. Yeah, you know what, God, you know what, Lord, that for y'all. Look at me here today, over here in Psalm Amen. chapter forty and verse six. Amen. Make sure that when you give God something, you give Him obedience. You Amen. give Him service. Amen. You give Him your love, not yeah. just your change out your pocketbook. Hallelujah. God wants you. And you got some people to give them everything but themselves. Everything. Show with them. Do everything you want. But if it comes down to you being on the altar, he said, listen, I present my body as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Did you hear that? Your body, your life, 
lady on the lawn, and you in the waiting room, you don't mm -hmm. feel your lips. Amen. I see it's something about when we gotta wait on the Lord. We don't want to talk to nobody about God. We we kind of like mad he ain't came yet. Mm. Yeah. We got attitude with God. Mm. Now you may try to fool past the mm. you ain't fooling God. Mm. Amen. When people don't get what they want, they they just notice they start slacking off on church. Mm. And you don't realize the devil getting a toehold in your life. Amen. Amen. So a lady be like, well, they don't say, you know, you just want them every other week coming to church, Pete. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank you. You're talking about fully committed. Mm -hmm. See, and, 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 and let me tell you something. Don't be timid and shy with God mm -hmm. when it comes down to when you're in the waiting room. Oh, yeah. you, you, you got to talk to people in the waiting room. You understand? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. Oh, yeah. you realize. People in the waiting room, there's some people going through the same thing you're going through. Oh, right? yeah. Now, you yeah. say you're born again. You love the Lord. Who you think going to open up their mouth? You, 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 you. There's some of them saying, you're supposed to be the one who's going to open up your mouth. You ain't going to be timid. We're in the waiting room. Don't talk to people. Encourage me. I'm talking about the waiting room this morning. Amen. I do not hide your righteousness in my heart. I'm not hiding it. Amen. I'm going to tell somebody about it. Even though yeah. I'm in the room, God's still good. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm speaking your faithfulness and your yeah. faith and help. Amen. I do not conceal your love and your faithfulness from the greatest family. See that? Amen. Let me tell you something. Faithful utility, man. Mm -hmm. Paul had to correct Timothy over there in First Timothy. Come on, somebody. I know okay. you've seen it. He had to correct. Listen, Timothy was timid. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. God don't want you to be timid. Mm -hmm. He wants you to tell people, be bold in the Lord. This Paul prayed for Paul. I remember Paul prayed for Paul. Yes. And he may be able to make the mysteries of Christ known to man. Be grateful. Yes. If you ain't bold, pray for it. You oh, like holy. Amen. Amen. Jesus. And then wrote half the New Testament. Listen, yes. all the yes. New Testament, inspired by God. Listen, Amen. pray for boldness. Oh, you can Amen. pray for what you want. You can pray Amen. for a car. You can pray Amen. for a house. You can oh, pray for anything else. Pray for Pray for that. Thank you, Lord. Somebody ain't never even thought about that. That's why the Holy Ghost told me to tell you that. Yeah. Pray for that. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Trying to pray for a new outfit. You better pray for both. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> now, Timothy was, listen, he prayed. God, listen, God loved him, but he was timid. Mm -hmm. And over there in First Timothy chapter 4, verse 12, I know I'm right. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, listen, Paul told him, listen, let no man despise your youth. Amen. He said, I know Amen. you're young. Mm -hmm. I got some young people in this ministry. Mm -hmm. But don't be timid. Amen. Don't come here and make bold and know that the mysteries of the Lord Jesus Christ to be Amen. somebody get saved. Oh, and let me think how Timothy caught the way because when Timothy got out of jail, uh -huh. You know, I love brothers coming to church and they get out of jail. I'm for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they, they, they free from jail and God want them to be free again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But you ain't going to be twice as slave. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, that person. Let, let, let me go on over here. Listen. When he got out of jail, he was a bishop, Sam, over there in Ephesus. Did you know that? Yes, amen. He's a bishop. And he boldly made known the mysteries of God's word to the people in Ephesus. He was the bishop. Mm -hmm. He became the bishop when he was released from prison. Yes. And let me tell you something. He was martyred. But some people didn't know. Yes, Timothy was martyred, murdered under Emperor uh, Nerva. Mm -hmm. Nerva took him out. And Emperor Nerva killed Timothy. Ordered his death. Mm -hmm. But he was bold. He got that right out. Amen. Please, Amen. let me tell you something. When you're in the waiting room, Paul 
Paul wrote all them epistles in jail, man. Yes, they did. You know what I'm saying? He was in the way, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me get finished with that. Do not withhold your mercy from me, oh, Lord. I'm right there in verse number 11, chapter and verse. Psalm 40, verse 11. Amen. For troubles without number surrounding me. Mm -hmm. My sins have overtaken me. Watch this. And I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head. Mm -hmm. And my heart falls within me. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something, Saint. Mm -hmm. David know how it feels to be sir. Mm -hmm. And now, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. David ain't trying to be no undercover set. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm talking to you. <laughs> but, you know, some people be on the down low on the semi <laughs> Let me stop joking. Some people be on the down low on the uh, trip. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't no ordinary day because he was bringing that thing to light. He was mm -hmm. letting God know I'm wrong and I know I'm wrong. Amen. Let me tell you something. Uh, listen, the people that don't get delivered are the people that always say they never do no wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. The people that never admit. Mm -hmm. Come on, Judy. Amen. Come on now. Amen. The people right. that never admit their wrong. Mm -hmm. They are way wrong. Mm -hmm. I told you the biggest lies we tell is the lies we tell ourselves. Amen. You mm -hmm. can't get on this and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I told you, everybody's perfect at home. Mm -hmm. But it don't mean that you're great in God's eyes. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. See, David, David is the king, but ain't David saying that my sins overtook me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I messed up. I blew him. That's right. You see, mm -hmm. I ain't got no problem telling God I blew it. That's right. Amen. I ain't got no problem with that. Amen. Mm -hmm. But see, he had some people after his life. And if you got a whole bunch of people down the key, you ain't got time to be playing. You know, you got to come down. That's right. You understand? Yeah. Like, like, them things don't sound like they were telling people to hold on the line. Pray. You know what I mean? 
You ain't never seen nobody jump up on top of somebody's car. Then the man said, sit down off my damn car. You get your dog. He came out the door. What do you mean about your name? You know, man. You know, man. Get the flower. Verse 14. I pray y'all getting this this morning. Yeah, y'all, yeah. Let me stop for a minute. Y'all getting this word this morning. Oh, I hope you like that. Y'all Thank getting you, this. Jesus. Amen. 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 <laughs> Verse 14. They all want to take my life. Be mm-hmm. put to shame and confusion. See, you know, y'all scared to talk like that. I don't mind. God, whoever after me, I know you after them. Hallelujah. Amen. Put their wickedness to the end. Thank you, Jesus. Break down the walls of their strength. Hallelujah. Lift me up to be invincible by your grace and mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Send an angel, Lord. Thank you, Lord. First, this mess in front of me, I pray in Jesus' name. Thank you. So that so, 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 so those that may desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. Hallelujah. And I try, I, I try to, I try to put some on them. And I, you know, I come on and wish that and they put a root on and everything else. But mm. I can't get her to drink that. I can't get her to come nowhere near me. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know why? Amen. Yeah. Because her footsteps are ordered by the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Every trick and trap you try to get somebody up here. Yeah. Hallelujah. And that's eight years ago. I, I, I went, somebody wanted me to come play for their house and the house. So, you know, I got, uh, I, I, you know, I got some of the older ministers. I said, y'all come on, go with me over here. I went over there, that girl opened that door, then none of us believed what we were looking at. Mm-hmm. They were, hold on, let me throw on something. I said to myself, that ain't God good. Ain't God good? Mm-hmm. Hey, listen, God keep you out of trap if you just... Mm-hmm. I ain't supposed to be just going to cancel no uh, woman by myself. Mm-hmm. What is that? Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. Come on, now. Mm-hmm. Come on, now. Mm-hmm. Come on, now. Mm-hmm. Come on, now. Come on, Mm-hmm. Pray to God. Amen. See, you got to realize some people are always trying to put you in a trap. Amen. They are. Amen. Look at verse 15. Look how they talk about something about aha. Look at this. Thing. May those who say to me, aha, aha, mm-hmm. be appalled mm-hmm. at their own shame. Hallelujah. But there's a disgrace when you try to do to that woman. Mm-hmm. I ain't fooling with you no more. You fight. Mm-hmm. We don't need people like you around here. Ain't that something? Oh, you set a trap for somebody else and you fall into mm-hmm. yourself. Mm-hmm. That's he what he's saying. Say you're trying your best to get rid of somebody else on a job. Woman needs a job. Man needs a job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he's looking at you that don't look like you want to look. <laughs> or oh, he ain't, you know, uh, he more of a man than you. Driving mm-hmm. stuff nicer than you. You know, mm-hmm. people got issues. She yeah. dresses that nicer than you. She always got her hair done. Mm. Nails done. Mm. You said enough time about she trying to take my job. Do you know that's the way she rolls? She ain't trying to take your job. She like that old Saturday nut. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> like you ain't supposed to try to look good. Who's going around trying to look so up? Amen. Amen. I mean, look. Amen. I mean, the day you know it don't take long to look so up. Just get up and throw on this first thing you see. Amen. Going out the house. <laughs> don't worry about combing your hair, brush your teeth, your own makeup. Amen. Don't worry about selling good. Yeah. Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> And the only thing you're going to track is fly. Amen. <laughs> 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 you understand? Hey, man, because you're being you. They don't realize how long you was in the waiting room. Waiting for oh, you now. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, for, wait for when you can have some money where you could go out and buy some nice things that you like. 
Hallelujah. You understand? They don't realize it's one of the first times you ever been able to order stuff online. But you ain't had time to go out and go shopping. You're working all the time. Trying to Hallelujah. Yes. Thank God for that online stuff coming to you, though. Hallelujah. You got a lot of people, but the haters are like now, ladies. They come in all Amen. places. Amen. Amen. Verse 17, no doubt. Verse 17, no doubt. Verse 17. Look what he said. But as for me, see David go all around the corner, all down the street. Amen. But you know what? You got to talk to the Lord yourself. Oh, you know? Amen. Because you're the one that needs something from the Lord. That's right. Amen. You need something from the Lord. Amen. Yeah, and remember, every good and perfect gift comes down from our Father of lights, and in Him there is no shadow turn. Amen. Amen. We need the Lord. Amen. I wish I just had somebody on this line this morning Amen. that could be honest today, Amen. right here Wednesday morning. They can just say, honestly, I need something from the Lord. I, I wish I could be from the Lord. Oh, I need something from the Lord. Now, maybe you don't need that. That's good. That's safe. Hallelujah. I said, because I need something from the Lord. He needs something from the Lord. I'm needy. I am needy. Do you realize? Yes. I'm a needy person. Hallelujah. I don't need nobody to the lie. <laughs> I don't need nothing. I don't need nothing from nobody. You are the absolute lie. Amen. 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 If you want you to be some meat, you're going to need a butcher to cut it up for you at the supermarket. You're going to drink a diet Pepsi. You're going to need the people down there at Pepsi to make up the mess and put it in the can. Amen. No, but you don't need nothing. Let me tell you, if you're going to drive that car, you got to work, you're going to need gas. Amen. You need to get all down the taxes at the refineries. You need a truck Amen. driver bringing the gas to the gas station. You need to pay a pan for the gas to go in the ground. And you need to Amen. pump that pump it in your car. Are you crazy? You need somebody. Amen. Oh, yeah. Sitting up there at Walmart with money in your pocketbook. Who you think made the money? You need somebody to make that money, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> amen. You certainly ain't get ready to check out what you look. No, amen. Everybody needs something. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. He said, but as for me, I am poor amen. and needy. You know, no matter how rich you are, no matter how much you got, no matter how you roll it, I mean, mm-hmm. you know, I heard a young brother tell me, he said, yeah, Pastor, when they got a whole lot of money, these days we say they dripping, man. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what you say? <laughs> and he's dripping, he's dripping. <laughs> oh, no. No, I can't come up with stuff. <laughs> but I'm needy. I don't know if I'm dripping. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I, I, I know I'm needy. Amen. Thank you, God. I'm like David. He said, but as for me, he ain't say my lover, he ain't say my sister, he ain't say Deacon Mike, he ain't say Deacon Mike, he ain't say Sister Chanel, he said, as for me. Yes. And let me tell you, it's okay to pray for you sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like you don't already do that. You just pray for mm-hmm. you out of mm-hmm. yourself and you said it's not somebody else. Amen. Oh, Lord. Man, know where he is. Amen. He knows where he is. Let me tell you something. You ain't fooling God. God knows where you at. You're sitting right there. He knows what you got on. He knows you to brush your hair this morning. And say, God knows right where you at. Oh, you can't fool him. He see what you got on. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and let me tell you something else. He knows if you're listening. You just got this phone on mute. You're sitting up there doing three or four other things. They ain't paying attention oh, to me. I just want to let you know, God. Know that. Amen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. You know, moments with the Messiah ain't for you to put the phone on mute and go to sleep. Amen. Amen. Watch this. May the Lord think of me. Ain't that so? Mm-hmm. But you are my help. 
And I'm gonna wait, bro. And I'm gonna keep on waiting. You see what he said? He said, Lord, uh, would you mind thinking about me? <laughs> you know, I love David. I swear I love David. Yes. David, hey, uh, he's like, uh, I know you out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said, like, I'm in this waiting room. Everybody else go. Huh? David, everybody else go. They love ones that checked out. Everybody out the mercy room. David said, I'm still here, Lord. I'm still waiting. I wish I had a witness this morning. Hallelujah. I'm sitting in the waiting room. Look, both hands got his head on his hand. Just sitting there at this foot. He said, Lord, just think about me. Amen. Amen. And then remind him, say, uh, you know, in case you missed when I said, uh, think about me, you know you are my helper. Amen. <laughs> and I need some help, Amen. and I'm just still waiting. Amen. Amen. Now, I can't get out of this unless you show up. Because then he turned around saying, you my deliverer. He rubbed it in, and he rubbed it in. <laughs> See, let's take some of y'all kids. Hallelujah. Yeah, they say, wait a minute. Yeah. He said, ask for me. He said, little old me. You know me. I'm David. Remember me? Mm -hmm. The man after yeah. your own heart. He yeah. said, you know, I'm kind of poor down here. You know, I need some things. Right there, verse 17. I ain't know the scripture. He said, you know, I'm kind of needy. You know, I've been kind of asking a whole lot. Mm -hmm. You know. He said, do you mind thinking about me for a minute? Because I know you got a lot on your mind. I know you got everybody in the world. Everybody needs something. Everybody has some stuff. But could you look over here in my corner? Amen. Amen. <laughs> look at little old me. Mm -hmm. And Lord, you know you are my helper. Amen. I ain't got my help yet. But I'm waiting on it. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Am I delivered? Amen. See, so he's rubbing it in. See, some of y'all don't talk to God. Like, you, you ought to rub it in so that the guy ain't got that look. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Amen. You my guy. Amen. Amen. And then you know what I like about David? David gets bold sometimes, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Look at the end of that verse. Verse 17 mm -hmm. of Psalm 40. He mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. do not delay. Mm -hmm. Ain't that something? Amen. I mean, he could have said, please. Uh -huh. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Come on now. Amen. <laughs> He's talking like he got a relationship. Okay. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Listen. While you're in the waiting room, I want you to realize something. He loves you. Amen. That's why you're constant. Bend towards sin. Think. Well, most people think David sounds like he's getting a little smart right there at the end. Mm -hmm. He's getting a little too big for the riches. Mm -hmm. But I want you to realize something. He loves mm -hmm. us in spite of our constant bending towards sin. Hallelujah. And he keeps all his promises, David. Mm -hmm. Amen. Every promise he ever made to you, God going to keep. Hallelujah. Amen. Even when you break your promises to him, that ain't that a revelation? Amen. Lord, come back. Come on, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Even when I break my promises to him, yes. he never breaks his promises to me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Say yes, amen. I just want to tell you, I want to send a good morning from the waiting room today. Amen. Amen. I want you to know I'm still in here. Still waiting, waiting on the Lord. And I don't believe I'm the only one today. Amen. Quite a few in the waiting. Amen. Waiting on the Amen. Lord. Amen. But let me tell you something. He never, ever backs out on the promise. Amen. Whatever he told you he's going to do, that's Amen. exactly what he's going to do. Amen. You just trust in the Lord. Amen. Focus on him. Keep your eyes Amen. on him. Stay in prayer to him. Trust in him. He Amen. will make a way. Hallelujah. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I can't get over that song, The Holy Ghost Gave the Son. And that choir was really, we were really singing that song. The anointed of God fell in that house. 
And you know, I know God will make a way for you. Oh, yeah. And you just got to keep walking with the Lord and, and keep walking with the Lord. Amen. Just keep trusting in the Lord. Amen. And God will make a way for you right straight out of that way. Amen. Amen. You're going to be discharged from that mess you're going through. Amen. Only love. Trouble Amen. come at night. Joy comes at night. You just don't have to wait. Amen. Oh, God. Amen. Hey, Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you today. We thank you for this word. We thank you for the truth. We thank you for this time that we shared together. We thank you, God, for the Holy Spirit coming and being with us, inspiring our hearts and minds today. God, we had 10,000 comes. We couldn't thank you enough because this word was truly a blessing in our lives. And God, may we step out in faith to bless others today. I want to pray for uh, Brother Calvin Pettiford that's on his way to the doctor down there in Chapel Hill. I don't want to leave him out. Ask you to cover him with the precious blood of Jesus. I ask you to deliver those who are going through. I pray in Jesus' name you help me to overcome in my situation and everybody else's situation. Now, what's the all you overcome? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I want to stay in prayer, Sister Bridget. You know, oh, that you. make sure we keep her covered in prayer. Amen. Deliver I pray you encourage the hearts and to know that God gives beauty for ashes, strength for tears, gladness for morning, and uh, peace with despair. We thank you, God, for everything you want, everything you do. But God, I thank you, love you for being you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.